Hey, Drew Baird here from Moon Audio. Welcome back. We're going to talk about what we started on Tech Tuesday. We're going to talk a little bit about network audio and, you know, Wi-Fi, wired connections, and, and some other tidbits about how to help you get the most out of your system. Now, I've got some units here, and they don't necessarily jive together, um, but I'm using, you know, this Orander and this Matrix for display purposes only. They don't really communicate the way I've got them connected, but I'm trying to put a picture in your head of how things are connected. Um, so I've got a cheap Wi-Fi router over here. I've got a cheap network switch right here. And we're going to say that the Orander is a server and the Matrix, which is a Rune endpoint, for example, or, or UPnP endpoint for your server. It doesn't matter which software you're using. We're simply going to talk about hardware. And my first most important thought is, you know, I, I brought up the, the question about wired versus Wi-Fi. Here's the bottom line about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is only going to be as good as your home network gear. And I'm sorry to say, but, you know, like this Cisco cheap uh, ES3000 Linksys router that you can buy at Best Buy for, and this is an older one, for, you know, $100, bucks, $150, whatnot. The bottom line is you get what you pay for. You know, it, it will serve you well for uh, sitting, in, sitting on a couch with your laptop, surfing web pages, blah, blah, blah. But the bottom line is using this as a Wi-Fi router for high definition video, audio in your house is going to be problematic. I guarantee it. You will have dropouts. Wi-Fi is only as good as this device right here. Um, and, and I can still complain about other Wi-Fi devices that you buy at, at, at Best Buy or wherever. I mean, nothing against Best Buy, but, you know, you can get the Aero systems where you've got lots of access points in your house. The problem with a lot of this gear is, you know, it's designed with the, with the intention of being used more so for streaming, uh, you know, websites, um, you know, surfing on Amazon. Yes, it's being used for your portable devices like your phone, but something you've got to remember about your phone is it's not just connected to this device via Wi-Fi. You're always still connected to the cellular towers. Unless you turn off that cellular tower, you've got a redundancy system in that phone. And so... When you get a nice piece of equipment like this Matrix Audio, and you'll notice it's got two Wi-Fi antennas, and you find that you've got dropouts um, with the Wi-Fi, but you don't have dropouts with your phone, and you say, hey, Drew, I've got this expensive $3,000 Matrix, and I've got these dropout problems. Well, the bottom line is, again, back to your router and your Wi-Fi system, it's only going to function as good as your network is functioning. And a lot of people complain that, hey, and, and this isn't just a matrix problem issue. They'll say, it doesn't matter what Wi-Fi high-end gear that they have, they've got dropout issues. And they blame it on the audio device. Again, look at your network. Your network is most likely going to be the problem. And if you're using that crappy box that Verizon or uh, you know any other cable provider in your area give to you, you're, you're going to have problems. My recommendation is, get a wired connection. If you're in a rental property, obviously you can't fish wires through the walls. But if you own your own property, your own house, apartment, whatever, electricians will run you a hard line from wherever your router is to where your stereo is. It isn't that complicated. It's a norm these days. It's easy to do. It is so worth it because you will get rid of so many headaches. A couple of other things here I'm showing. So you'll notice, and we'll pretend, even though this Orander is a standalone product and works on its own architecture independently. It doesn't necessarily work with this matrix the way I've got it connected. We're gonna pretend this is your server. Make sure that whatever is your server or your NAS, um, or if you're using a computer as a server at home, have that directly connected to your router. Then let's say you're using a switch because your router doesn't have enough ports on it and you need to connect a whole bunch of gear in your house. Connect as much of your gear in the house to this switch. So you want the server directly into the router. The rest of your gear goes into this switch, and then the switch connects to your router. If you do it backwards and put all your source devices that you want to get, you want to pull music to and such, into your router and then put your server on the switch, this can cause some problems in a wired connection. Not always. It just depends on the level of technology of the network gear you're using. I'm using very basic cheap stuff here for example purposes. We use Cisco Meraki gear here at the office. It's a commercial grade product. It's not cheap. 
It comes with a service license every year, not cheap again, but the bottom line is we have amazing Wi-Fi and wired connection. I still wire everything here at Moon Audio where I can and only use Wi-Fi when I can't get to a network connection. I've got the same Cisco Meraki stuff at home. I never have issues. Um, so a couple of key points. If you've got dropout problems with Wi-Fi, look at where your access points are. Is your device halfway between two access points? You can find sometimes with the architecture of those access points, they may compete with each other. And so your, your device that's streaming the music may be jumping from this one to this one and you get a quick dropout. Or maybe your access point is too far away. You know, you've only got a router like this in the bottom left-hand side of your house. You're all the way on the other side and you're having problems with audio. Get some extenders, get some access points. Better yet, like I said, get yourself a wired connection. It will take away so many headaches. So that's the most important thing to take away from this video, wired connections for your high-end audio streaming in your house. I hope this helps. There's so much that can be covered in this network uh, topic, and I don't want to confuse a lot of people. I just want to give you a couple of basic things to think about and how to improve your system. Stay tuned for next Tuesday. Maybe we'll talk a little more about network audio and maybe some Rune and Orander talk.